The race for the FedEx Cup may be over, but there's still a lot to pursue in the final four events of the PGA Tour. Welcome to PGA Tour Today, presented by MasterCard. Hey everyone, I'm Amanda Balionis, back in studio after a tremendous week at the Tour Championship by Coca-Cola, where Bill Haas claimed both the victory at Eastlake and the FedEx Cup. But don't think just because the playoffs are over that the PGA Tour season has come to an end. We are now starting a four-week journey through the fall series, beginning with the Justin Timberlake Shriners Hospital for Children Open, and there's a lot on the line. Tournament winners over the next four weeks will receive a two-year exemption on the PGA Tour. Players in the field over the next four events will have an opportunity to finish in the top 30 on the money list, earning them a spot in the following year's Masters and U.S. Open. And lastly, players in the field during the fall series have the chance to accrue official World Golf ranking points towards entry to the World Golf Championship events. Defending champion Jonathan Bird will be back in Las Vegas to defend his title after winning in 2010 in one of the most dramatic ways possible. He aced the 17th hole, the fourth extra playoff hole for the victory. Bird will be teeing off with Nick Watney, who already has two wins under his belt in 2011, and Martin Laird, the 2009 champion of this event. The young guys will be representing in the entertainment capital of the world this week as five of the 12 first-time winners on tour this season will be teeing it up at TPC Summerlin. Johnny Vegas will be out west, as will Brendan Steele, Harrison Fraser, Scott Stallings, and Scott Piercy. And of course, you can always count on Justin Timberlake to bring out the celebrities this week. So keep an eye out for George Lopez, Cedric the Entertainer, JT himself, and many, many more celebrities and athletes. And for even more on what's going on out west, let's touch base with Bob Stevens and Fred Albers of the PGA Tour Network. Amanda, if you're coming to Vegas, you better get used to change, except not the stuff in your pocket. It's gone in a hurry anyway. A little bit of a different golf course facing the golfers this year. We're about a month earlier than we've played this tournament in the past, so the Bermuda has not yet gone dormant. The fairways a little bit softer than they usually are. The greens are too. They'll speed up during the week, but Jonathan Bird's caddy told me it's an extra club into the par fives and into the par fours here at the TPC Summerlin. Should be interesting to see how the players adjust to that. But they're going to find a way to go low, aren't they, Fred? Oh, Bob, in the words of Chubby Checker, how low can you go? You have got to go low in order to win this tournament. Last year, Jonathan Bird shot 21 under par. And you're right, Bob, because of the grass, this course is playing a little bit longer, but the greens are still very receptive. They are going to give up lots of birdies. And one thing to remember, you got to go low when you're in Vegas. It was 20 years ago, 1991, that Chip Beck shot 59 here in Las Vegas. I know different tournament, different course, but still, to win in Vegas, you got to take it deep. Amanda, our broadcast on the PGA Tour Network, Sirius XM, begins at 1 o'clock Eastern Time Thursday. Thanks, guys. And remember, Golf Channel has your round one coverage from 4 to 7 p.m. Eastern, or you can log on to PGATour.com for all the news, highlights, and live leaderboard. PGA Tour Today is presented by MasterCard, which invites you to play like a PGA Tour player at select TPC courses. MasterCard is a proud sponsor of the PGA Tour.